Okay, hello everyone. This is Casey from WebBuddy. In this week tutorial, I want to share with you a plugin that I use in conjunction with the Gunterbird editor. So I want to introduce this plugin. It's called Spectra. So you can simply just go to plugins, add new plugin, and type in Spectra. Okay, this plugin, the purpose is that it will add in more blocks and feature for your Gutenberg editor to make it easier to achieve a certain function. So in this video, I want to share with you three things that you can do with this additional feature that comes with Spectra. So go ahead and install, then activate this plugin. And the first thing that I want to share with you is that the ability that is able to hide certain blocks in the mobile. So let me share with you how it works. So I simply click edit page. So for example, currently this is my home page and on my home page there's a video playing in this section. So assuming that I do not want this video to appear for uh, people who are using mobile to view my website. So what I need to do is just click on this block and scroll down. On the right you can see there's an advanced, scroll down advanced. And scroll down until you find this section called responsive conditions. This section only appear after you install and activate Spectra plugin. So I want to hide on mobile. So which means that mobile user coming to my website, they won't be able to see this uh, video. So part of the reason is because I also want to speed up the mobile user's experience. So I click save. And now I just go to my home page. So now if I were to scroll down, I can still see the mobile because this is a desktop view. So if I narrow the screen to mobile, then the video no longer appear. You see that when I scroll down, the video has disappeared. So the video used to be above this our classes. So if I maximize the browser again, then the video appear above the classes section. So this is a very useful feature for uh, anyone, especially if you're running a business website and you want to speed up the mobile experience by hiding certain blocks in your web page. Okay, so number one is that this responsive condition, you can make good use of uh, the spectra feature. And another feature I want to share with you is that it's able to embed a table of content in your blog post. So let me just go to my blog post, click on post, who should practice yoga, this blog post, I click edit. And you can see that this is a typical blog post, just for example, and I want to enter something over here okay and i search for type a slash and search for table and you can see a table of contents this also only appear after i've installed spectra so this is i click after that you it will automatically link to the various headers in this blog post so for example this header i use h2 this header, I also use H2. You can use H1, H2, H3, up to you. And this table of content will automatically detect those header. And if you click on this block, you can also do some styling. You can change the color of the background. So really up to you, you can choose the color. Okay. The padding, the border, the width, radius, you can change it. So it's very flexible. In general, you can change, you can ask the table of content to detect all the six headers automatically. As for content, you can choose the alignment, columns, gaps. So there are a lot of changes, a lot of settings that you can do here. Okay, for you to uh, customize this table of content. 
So let's see how it works. We're going to save it and open it on the window and scroll down. And if I were to click on this, it will scroll to the particular section. So this table of content is very useful. Uh, without this Spectra plugin, you will need to install a separate table of content plugin to achieve this purpose. Okay, so the third feature that I want to share with you is a slider block. So let's edit home page. So this is the home page and I'm going to add a slider block here. So also with the power of uh, Spectra, we can add in a slider block. So click on here and search for slider. Because slider is a very common uh, component that a lot of users will be using. And I find that this slider is very uh, flexible. You can insert image. So the first thing is that over this setting, you can see there's an autoplay setting. I will disable the autoplay. And this is slide number one. So for slide number one, if you want to insert the image, you can just click here. Or you can add an icon as well. So I will select image. I will upload the image. Let's say this is the image I want to upload. Click select. Okay. So after that, you can select the image size, you can select full, or you can select medium. Okay, it's really up to you. So I'll just select full. And this is the title. I'll just put in latest classes. Okay, so after that, I will just save. You can see that there's other options as well. You can select the position of the title. So this is the title, latest classes. So I will select that the image will be appear above title. So this is an image, this is a title. I can also select below title. So which means this is a title, this is the image. So I will leave it as it is. Click save and let's take a look at the home page. So we scroll down and this is the slider. So I can also slide to the second slide or third slide. If I have any pictures, I can also upload it the way that I did it for the first slider. So I find that it's a very useful block for users who want to add in some sliding component in your home page or in your any other specific page in your website. So hopefully that you find this uh, introduction or recommendation of Spectra plugin useful. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments area below. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.